there, and thanks so much for joining me. Uh, starting today, for the next you know, several weeks, we are going to talk a little bit about the power of gratitude and self-reflection and how that can really uh, create a positive mindset for you and help ease your, uh, sort of smooth the waters in your transition through menopause. So, I don't know, for me, this time of year, you know, it's American Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving, it all kind of wraps together and it really is a time of reminder for me of, you know, to really think about all those things that I'm grateful for in my life and, and there are so many. And sometimes we tend to forget about that because we're always focusing on the next thing we have to deal with, right? Uh, so it's really important to bring our focus back to what we have that's really good that we really appreciate, that we're really grateful for. And that will allow us for a lot more, you know, that smoother smoother waters, but also more resilience and joy in our lives. So today we are going to add the um, to our toolkit uh, some gratitude. And for the, the rest of the month, we'll go through some different tools that you can add. Today we're gonna talk about gratitude journaling. Um, and it'll be really easy, so don't worry. Uh, before we go there, I'm Nancy Brooker. I am the Living in Yes coach for women who are navigating the challenges of menopause. Um, you know, it's a time of such great change in our lives. There's so many things going on. We all deserve to feel really empowered when it comes to our bodies, our health, our, 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 our finances, our life goals, our work, um, everything, our relationships. And we really deserve to love who we're becoming. So I help you, you know, to really tap into your inner strength, to let go of that self-judgment and trust yourself so that you can navigate menopause with confidence and grace and really feel good in your body and find joy and fulfillment in, you know, your unique journey through menopause. So let's talk about some gratitude journaling. Why the heck would you even want to do this? Well, the research on gratitude, there's a ton of it out there, but really keeping a gratitude journal really leads to increased feelings of positivity. It improves your mental health and so many other, um, you know, I have a video on gratitude that I'll link below. Uh, there's just so many great things about gratitude and it, it really helps us move our focus away from you know, that what's challenging us and towards what we really want. There's that famous quote by Tony Robbins, you know, um, energy, energy goes where attention, energy flows where attention goes, something like that. Um, and it's so true. And cultivating a gratitude practice really helps us to shift our attention. And it's really easy to implement. You know, think about just doing one thing at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, in the middle of the day, whenever it works for you, write down three things that you're grateful for. And it can be anything. It can be the beautiful sunshine, you know, beautiful sunset, sunrise, uh, the, the crisp air, the, you know, a beloved pet who just really makes you feel good. Um, it could be a personal achievement, something that, you know, happened that day that made you feel really good, something somebody said, a, an act, a gesture of kindness, an act of kindness, something you did for somebody else. It could be anything. And, you know, for women in peri and postmenopause, it's really good to add to that list to be grateful for a few things. And one of them is our bodies, because our bodies are changing so much at this time. Sometimes it's easy to say, oh, I can't believe, you know, here's just one more thing. But think about our bodies and all the work they've done for us through our lives, how they continue to serve us today, how they are being resilient through all of these changes, and, you know, really show some love for how hard our bodies are working right now. Um, it might be as simple as, you know, appreciating the strength in your legs, the legs that support you and, you know, keep you moving every day, appreciating, um, you know, your senses that enable you to experience the world, to be able to, you know, to smell the be the wonderful foods cooking or, um, or hear the sounds in nature, whatever that is, like hear the music that you like, all of these senses that we have, appreciating that, just really showing some love for our bodies. 
It might be uh, showing gratitude for our personal growth. This time in our lives, it kind of, uh, you know, that um, whole looking for more, you know, really that self-reflection thing, figuring out who we are, kind of all bubbles to the surface at this time. And so give some gratitude for that because it's actually a good thing, right? We, it's important for us to love who we're becoming. So maybe um, this might look like thanking, feeling grateful for the inner strength that you have to have faced the challenges that you, that you have in your life and during this period. Well, maybe it's the deep wisdom that you're developing, that you're working towards developing at this time in your life. Whatever that is, offering thanks for the opportunities and blessings that are ahead of you even. You know, forward gratitude is a great thing. And finally, you might want to give thanks for some of your support systems. Um, those people uh, or groups or whatever that is that have really um, provided you a safe and supported space to express how you feel and uh, validate your experiences and really offer words and actions of encouragement for you. It could be friends, family, partner, it could even be the family pet, whatever that is, um, offering gratitude for them. And don't think that your gratitude practice has to be something major. It doesn't even have to be a journal. It can be a post-it practice. It can be your gratitude post-it practice where you write on a post-it every day. Um, and then you have your wall full of post-its or whatever that is for you. Uh, really, really important stuff. Bottom line, life shifts and so can you. Menopause is a groove, not a grind. So gratitude can be a really powerful tool uh, to help smooth our transition through menopause, help shift our focus to the positivity, create this um, new empowering mindset for us that will really help us move forward with uh, this next stage of life. So. Remember, you can shape your menopause journey with uh, confidence. And if you need some help really diving into uh, your menopause playbook, really figuring out what your vision statement is for this time in your life and how you're going to get there, then let's chat. And I'm going to leave you with a quote from Walt Disney. The more you are in a state of gratitude, the more you will attract things that you're grateful for. And it's so true. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, come visit me over at Living In Yes on Facebook. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, uh, www.nancybrooker.ca. We can connect there. Thanks and have a beautiful day.